So earlier this week I got an email from uh, EBSCO, just a mass mail, uh, letting us know that they had a new feature which would have RSS feeds as search alerts, and I couldn't find that. I thought perhaps it was something we had to turn on in the administrative module, but uh, Ken Varnum at RSS for Lib pointed out in a blog post that it's actually, for some strange reason, a feature that's uh, selectable by every individual and not across sessions. But the way to do it, um, if you were running a search, um, if you did something like global warming and Alberta, so you run the search and um, wait for just a minute and you get your results, 88 results here. Supposedly, according to the email I got, you're going to be able to find the search alerts uh, RSS option under the search alerts history tab. I couldn't find it there, but Ken pointed out that if you go to new features up here at the top, you click there, and then you scroll down a little bit, and you get this thing called one step alerts. Try it. And when you click that, it says feature is enabled. Scroll back up, go back, and now over here, and if this were the full screen, it would show up a little bit more nicely, a little, a little bit more neatly. It would say create alert for this search, and once you click on that, you get a pop-up box that has the information for your alert. And uh, you've got everything here. It does include the easy proxy information for my institution, which is nice. And um, all you have to do then is, is either copy and paste, or if you're using a web-based aggregator, click that, and it should add it to your aggregator. Ken points out a couple things. Um, the alert expires two months after inactivity. And much like uh, the first iteration of EBSCO's RSS feeds, when you add this, you're not actually going to get anything in your feed. It, it appears that the next time that you'll get anything updating in your feed is when there's new content in the database that matches that feed. It doesn't provide you with anything based on uh, what's currently in the database. So don't freak out when you add that and it comes up blank. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Oh, um, so as I mentioned, there it doesn't seem to be setting a cookie or anything. So the next time you log out of the database, um, it won't have that feature enabled again and it is only enabled for you for this session. So when you log out, come back in, run a search, you will not by default at this time see the create alert for this search. You still have to go back to the new features, enable it, and grab the alert. So it doesn't seem like something that's going to have an awful lot of uptake uh, if it's something that you have to do yourself each time. Uh, in my opinion, that should be just an option that shows up automatically, and maybe they'll roll it out that way eventually, but that's where we stand at the moment.